Okay, so I'm going to show um, a recent addition to the Helm Charles repo that we have. This repo contains uh, basically pipeline definitions and task definitions, stacked on pipelines and task definitions. Until recently, um, there were no tests that those, um, well, that the, the Helm charts in would work after the installation. And the change uh, that I'm going to show is how this is now tested using a microchip cluster deployed uh, on every pull request. I'm going to show mm, the just the output of the tests basic using GitHub Actions on the PR that actually implemented that change. We'll see the last run was actually quite short and one of the features of this, um, this is based on the chart testing tool and one of the features is it detects changes uh, in, the, um, in the chart itself. So if there is no need to run a proper test, it skips it, that's why this was short. Um, but the previous run, you can see, took a bit longer. So let's look at this one. Basically, uh, before that change, the GitHub action stopped it here after testing, you know, after doing some linting with the tool. And everything below that is new. Um, in case of a change has been detected, then a microchip cluster is uh, deployed using an all-in-one image, so it's running in a pod. Um, in that cluster, we install Prometheus and Tecton. One of the um, nice touches here, maybe, is we are using the Tecton CD uh, operator, the same that is using well, the same code behind OpenShift pipelines. And the thing is that Microshift, um, by the way, quick, quick. A note about Microshift, it's a great project. It's aimed at uh, deploying Microshift on low uh, low power devices, let's say, with low resource devices. And among other things, um, this implies not deploying, well, many heavy things, including OLM. There, there is no OLM on Microshift, and there is no, there are no cluster operators. Uh, and the thing is that OpenShift pipelines relies on some, some functionality provided by a uh, cluster operator, in particular, the cluster network operator. So there is a hack here, or well, uh, let's call it a workaround, it sounds better. But basically, um, one of the steps uh, is implemented manually. We manually create a, or actually patch the, the trusted CA bundle. This is a task that in a real OpenShift cluster would be taken or would be handled by the cluster network operator. This is done manually here. And basically with that in place, uh, CD install, the chart testing tool install, that goes beyond that just installing it tests that actually works and it's run and it verifies that everything starts and the event listener um, starts um, and basically, well, you kind of, well, it makes sure that the, the changes um, let the charts continue to, to work. And that's basically it. Um, I can show the, the job itself, but meanwhile, if anyone has any comments or questions. Mm, it's, it's testing deployability of the Helm chart, right? It's not testing functionality of any of the Tecton tasks or something like that. Correct. Uh, there, there are no functional tests yet. Uh, that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's coming next, let's say. But at least I, I would maybe emphasize, on the other hand, it not just it's not testing just that Helm install works because uh, actually in the released version of the charts, Helm install does work, but some of the components do not work. Uh, this actually tests a bit more and it verifies that the deployments that are that come out of the charts actually succeed in deploying their pods and the pods don't crash. So it's a slightly more, but no, no, no functional testing yet. Okay. Any 
Anything else? Cool. And thank you. Cool. Uh, thank you.